Alright, back where we're off to. Two hours later. Anger. <laughs> so fast. Go. Really, you really commit to this pan round thing. Right, good morning squad. It is day one of the Shore Classic. We are in the car, we're on the way to go get some breakfast. We're meeting up with Jesse and Mika, who are our strongman friends from Finland. Um, so we are going to, was it Epic Eggs? Epic Eggs, that was the, sounds pretty good. Um, so we're headed there, we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna take you with us into the arena um, and go get checked in for the arm lifting. I've got a cool badge. Right, see you in a bit. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. We are in the venue, we've met all the other athletes, I'm by far the smallest. Um, we are starting in about two hours, we've already done the athlete briefing and everything. Starting off with these dumbbells, Thomas has dumbbells. There's loads of warm-up ones there, we've only got four, starting at 78, uh, 85, 95, 104. If you can't get a heavier one, then you've got to do reps. So for me, probably it's going to be 78, 85. I'm going to try the 95, it's going to be pretty 50, 50. Um, and if not, it'll be reps on the 85. So that's bed one, and then we go on to the blobs this afternoon, but we will show you that before we go but i'm gonna try and get some videos with the other athletes because they're all giants <laughs> ryan's enjoying watching his first ever grip comp <laughs> thrilling <laughs> i also drew first out in classic buddy haynes form so i'll be the first man lifting good job i'm the tallest <laughs> <laughs> right, warmed up to about 60 kilo. That's the first dumbbell 78, and then it goes 85, 95, 104. So if I can get a rep on about 70, we've still got about 20 minutes. It all feels nice and easy at the minute. Chalk's really good, hands are nice and dry. I've sort of been worried about my hands are so sweaty, where it's like quite humid, quite warm. But feel good. We're have some absolute monsters here though, and I'm out first, so anything off the bottom, I like me. Right, pretty happy with that, to be fair, guys. Came four, I think. Got one rep on the 95. That was the game plan, to be honest. Like, the fact I got air under the 104 is I'm absolutely buzzing. I went back down to 95, but the first one felt pretty good, so I thought, thought I'd be good for a few reps, but after you try a 104, like, you see, like, with a few guys, like, it just got at that point. But we're off the bottom, that's the main thing. We're playing uh, some big dudes here, so, yeah, very, very happy. Fourth place it means I'll go out third on the third lift. That's next. But, yeah, we're going to go watch... Walk around the expo, go watch some start of the strong man and go enjoy ourselves a bit. I think I've broken it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ready for the show, dude. This is bloody ripper. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got axle deadlift for reps coming up next. It's going to be about 155, but the difference is it's two and a half kilo, two and a half inch axle, sorry. It's also a fixed axle, so it makes it a little bit gnarly, but... Uh... <laughs> right, guys, event two, we've got axle deadlift for reps. It's this bit kit here. It's from World Strongest Man back in the day. Uh, it's a two and a half inch axle. It's also fixed, which makes it a little bit harder, um, but... I really have no idea. It's gonna be about 155. It's just reps in a minute. So I'm hoping sort of six to 10 on this would be good points, but see so how it goes. We're out in front of the big crowd as well. The strongman's been epic so far. So proper enjoying it. Um, should be a good event for me this. So fingers crossed.
Right, a little cosy drive to get some food with uh, me and my new best friend. Yay! <laughs> Got Ryan driving, look at this. All right, squad day one is done and dusted. What an experience that was, honestly. We just got back to the Airbnb, uh, long, long day. Very fun day. Everyone is so friendly, as you would expect. Uh, also got to hang out with all the pro guys doing the strongman as well, uh, stuff like just helping out, chatting to everyone, but it was a really good day. Ended up fourth on the Thomas Inch Dunbar medley, which it, it, I got a PB on it, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I drew first out. I think I covered that off already, but so I was the first one to go, which is always a disadvantage, especially on that event, because obviously I did the 95 kilo dumbbell. I just missed the 104, which again, like I got air underneath it, which is a huge PB. Um, there's about 10 people in the world that have lifted that dumbbell. So to get it off the floor at all, I'm really, really happy with. Um, so yeah, going first out, it's a bit of a disadvantage. Obviously, if I just did one rep on the 95, it meant it opened the doors for the others to come through and do a few reps on the 95. Um, sadly, after I tried the 104 and went back down, uh, my grip was just absolutely fried um, and I had nothing left. But yeah, to be honest, to lift a 95 hole dumbbell was really, really cool. And then event two, which was in the stadium in the main arena, which was absolutely epic, was the axle deadlift. Uh, two and a half inch handle, 155 kilos. Um, and your boy did 10 reps. Um, I thought it was holding up pretty well. And then uh, I think Dave went out last. He won the first event. He also won the second event. So I think he is... He's pretty much a favourite to win it at this point. So the overall standings now are that Dave has 12 points. Luke Reynolds and I both have eight points. Um, and then I can't remember. I think six, five, three, something like that. So we're in a good position. Uh, event three in the morning is blobs. That's probably my worst event. So I'm sort of going for damage limitation on that one. Um, I know a lot of the guys are really good at that. Jesse especially um, really likes that event. So basically all I need to do is hold hold a good position, to try not to come last on it. Um, and then the vertical bar is the fourth event. That again is in front of the crowd. I think that will be quite a good event for me. I don't know. You don't know what the other guy's capable of, uh, but numbers I've been hitting, I should be getting a few reps on that. So really exciting. Literally, I cannot wait. Wherever I come, I'll be happy. Um, but... I've sort of set myself up because I've come, I'm second overall and I never expected to be there. So obviously now it's like, I want to get on the podium, but um, I told myself coming over, if I come sick, if I'm happy just to be here. So awesome experience. The show itself was unbelievable. Um, I think Brian's done an absolutely awesome job with it. Um, and yeah, just been really cool. Just been such a fun experience. Um, we're going to do a little Airbnb tour in the morning before we go because it's a really cool Airbnb, uh, but it needs a tidy. It smells of farts and it's very late. So gonna get to bed very soon. We've got an early start again tomorrow. Um, and then we're heading down to Denver from Loveland uh, to drop the car off and stuff like that. So been a real fun day, been such an experience, awesome crowd, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, and can't, go, can't wait to go again on day two. Let's see if I come back from this comp with a medal or a trophy, I'll be so happy. But you know, let's see how it goes. Right, love you all. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the morning. All right, squad. Airbnb tour. So, start with the boring bits. The washing and drying stuff, which is quite cool. You go up the steps, which is very strange. Two, bathroom, bathroom shower, sink, toilet. Not, not very exciting. Right, very nice kitchen, table, huge bean bag. All exceptionally nice. My bed. Ryan's bed, which is actually a sofa. Stairs that go nowhere. And the place we spent the most time. Porter. And Ryan's bedroom. Right squad, getting warmed up for the blob medley. Like I say, if I had a bad event, it probably would be this one. So for me, this is just a case of hanging on. Um, we found out today the way they work the points out is if you come first in the event, you get 100 points and then it's percentage based off of that. So it's really confusing how the points work out, but basically it means that every blob matters. So I'll be using the whole time on this, doing everything I can, but um, yeah, basically I've just got to hold on on this one to be honest and, and go into the last event strong, but let's see how it goes. UK champion from England, Patty Haynes. Oh, Pat.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it under rough. Right squad, sorry if the audio is a bit botched. My cameraman's been uh, roped in last minute to help with uh, loading the plates and stuff, which is quite funny. So Ryan is um, out on the floor, getting everything ready. It's a very fast pace. Like, obviously, we've got a long time in between events, but as soon as the strongman finishes, we're going out. Um, so we got about 10, 15 minutes, not long. I'm gonna be one of the first pairs out. It's our last event. The weights have gone up. So it's 85, 95, 105 now. Should be good for a couple of reps. Uh, and just wrap the comp up basically. It's been one hell of a weekend. Um, let's see how we get on. Right squad, we have made it. We are in the hotel in Denver. Day two of the Shore Classic is all wrapped up. Went really well actually guys. Like the blob medley um, didn't go to plan. Basically, I failed the 100 pound. It was a York Fatman for those that know their blobs. Like horrible shaped thing. It's one of the hardest blobs I've ever tried to pick up. So 100 is, it's half a 100 pound dumbbell. So you can work that out. It's too late for me to do that. But anyway. Um, Luke and I both had the same problem. We both failed that one a bit random. We weren't expecting it. We both picked up the, the 110, 115 after that really easily uh, in the warm up. Uh, but that 100 was just harder than those heavier ones. They're York Legacy blobs, um, which didn't mean anything to me either before this, but now I sort of know a bit more. Um, but yeah, the York Fat Man blob is like the OG. Um, I picked it up in the warm-up as well. I literally worked through all of them and thought that one feels a bit slippy, but got it done. So it was a bit of a shock. Um, so that really tanked the points. I was down in fourth um, and then brought it back on the vertical bar at the end in front of the crowd. Always perform better in front of a crowd as well. So um, I did like two or three reps. Jesse had gone up before me and done five. So I did two or three and it was slipping. It didn't feel great. Um, so I started panicking a little bit, but managed to scrape out six. So... Six got me, Jesse also got in between me and the other guy that was beating me. Um, so he did four, that was Eric. Um, and then Luke, uh, big old Luke went out and smashed it. He did like nine in front of the crowd, everyone was going mad. So um, it was awesome to see Luke smash that. He's a great guy as well. So um, luckily by coming second in that event, so two second places, it was enough to secure me third overall. Um, Dave, the guy that won, won three events. Uh, he was in the league zone to be absolutely honest with you guys. like. Um, just seemed to suit that comp perfectly. Absolutely smoked it. So, yeah, unbelievable day. I also spent a lot of time backstage at the Strongman, just just helping out the guys and like chatting to everyone. And um, it was cool just being able to socialise with the guys that you know I'm looking up to and want to be want to be competing with in a year or two. But I also got to say hello to Brian and 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 literally so many like Hall of Famers backstage. Ed Cohn, um, Nick Best, Terry Hollands, they were, like all these guys. Obviously, Loz um, and Liz were hanging around, so I was chatting to them a lot. But um, super cool, honestly. Just just the best possible experience. Like this whole week has been amazing. Like um, big shout out to Ryan as well. Like my best mate's come along and just looked after me, and we've had the best holiday as well. So um, honestly, guys, 
the Shaw Classic was one of the best comps I've ever watched. Like, if you do ever get the opportunity, you just have to come and watch it. Like, there, there's nothing, there's nothing even like it. So, um, huge thanks again to Brian and Kerry um, and Ricardo for Armlifting USA. Uh, but I am so, so proud to be bringing home a bronze medal for uh, UK. Um, it's a huge step forward. Thank you to God's Grip for helping me out getting here and stuff like that. Um, please do and go and check them out as well because they've helped me get here. Um, if you've made it this far, if you've liked the vlogs and stuff, please do subscribe, like, comment, share, all the good stuff. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. We're traveling back tomorrow. Peace out. Love you lots.